welcome to Totally Integrated Instrumentation. Today we're going to have a look at um, connecting some uh, lower cost Coriolis meters to um, TIA portal and the pros and cons associated with that. So what we have here is the Siemens um, Coriolis meter, the FCT010, which comes with no display and um, you have connectivity over Modbus 485 so that allows us to multi-drop the uh, wires into these devices on a small network. While Modbus is a flexible network it does have some limitations. Um, it gives us uh, the ability to, to spur off to these instruments but um, there are relationships between how long your your trunk is so this this section at the top we call the trunk and these go into the instruments we call the spur so you've just got to be careful with your wiring your screening's got to be good and also you have to switch on your end line terminator in inside uh, the the unit furthest away so that's okay what we can do is we can add a Modbus MasterCard to your um, ET200SP IO here uh, or you could add it to a 1200 there's a 1200 Modbus card and then multi-drop into that instrument and there's um, face plates that you can download to um, uh, connect to the instruments via HMI which is which is quite nice and that all works fine the issue occurs with Modbus when you have a problem on site so if we have a look at this next slide if we really need to do a, a, a you know a deep diagnostic delve into what's um, going on with the Coriolis meter then we need to connect um, somatic PDM and somatic PDM supports Modbus 485 connectivity so um, that's quite simple to do you can get a USB to a 485 adapter the downside to Modbus 485 and this is the, probably the, the the main issue that you'll have is we can't have two Modbus masters talking to the slave at the same time so this card here this CM module is a Modbus master it's a slave on the ET200SP rack and that is a slave to the PLC so we're, we're not going to affect the comms going to the, to the rest of the PLC um, but what will happen is there's no way to distinguish between what what master is communicating first so what you will see is PDM will probably start to communicate because we're still using cyclic communications here but as soon as this Modbus master tries to talk PDM will, will time out of course we want to also try and get connectivity to our IOT apps and having PDM maintenance station installed centrally so you could for instance put it on this um, industrial PC here um, would make sense but the ET200SP doesn't support the Modbus pass-through um, for for PDM we can't we can't do that um, it's a combination of an issue with PDM and an issue with Modbus uh, masters talking to the same devices so we need to look at another solution the solution that I find that works the best is to use a Modbus 485 to Modbus TCP converter and yes we may have Profinet comms on this green cable but the port for Modbus TCP port 502 is still supported and the beauty of this device so we're looking at um, an Anybus device from HMS uh, it can have up to eight masters connected on the Modbus TCP um, without affecting the Modbus 485 comms so it will route that traffic for you and the uh, 
TIA portal block, the MB uh, client block, will talk to your instruments and bring your process values back. So you can keep your face plates nice and simple in, in TIA portal, WinCC SCADA, WinCC Flex, it doesn't matter. And then we can have somatic PDM sat on a Windows 10 low cost industrial IPC. And, and a good example of that is the um, IPC, I think it's the 127, which you can see, see there on the top left. And that will give me not just Modbus um, connectivity all the way down from my central engineering station for my Coriolis meters, but if I have, if you look at this example, I've got a Coriolis meter on Profibus uh, PA on a transparent coupler. So those two devices will come up to PDM. Any heart IO I have on here, so any heart instruments on the ET200. SP can also go to that if I'm using the ET200 ISP for hazardous area then again I can bring that up to here and here we have the um, Siemens compact field unit CFU which is Profinet to Profibus PA again all of that can come up into um, my central uh, somatic PDM PC or if I want to upgrade I can now go up to, to the standalone maintenance station if I want to have um, hazardous area, well, the beauty of of the uh, 410 and the uh, 310 complete system, Coriolis meter, it's certified to zone 2 any, uh, anyway, so you don't need any barriers. If you want to put that into a, a zone 1, then you can add a barrier package to, to this network, and it will support up to, I think, 8 devices. Um, if you want to you can put one on each spur uh, and then that would protect the power supply so so it's still a low cost solution so it's really flexible and what we're going to do I'm, over the next um, two videos I'm going to show you how to set this up because the beauty of this HMS device it comes with a virtual port replicator because Somatic PDM at the moment doesn't support Modbus TCP connectivity but this uh, port replicator will take the IP address and the settings for this device and make it look like a standard USB COM port adapter so as far as PDM is concerned it's connecting to a Modbus 485 network it's not connecting to a Modbus TCP we can connect centrally to PDM from our uh, low-cost uh, industrial PC or we can upgrade that to maintenance station standalone so we've got connectivity to the uh, IOT apps and then we get our digital data flowing uh, over Modbus TCP into the standard um, MB client read and the flexibility is there just to add a small barrier package if you want that to go into zone 1 so over the, the next couple of videos, I'm going to show you how to set up this Anybus device, how to get PDM working. I will then show you how to do an MB client read on TIA portal to bring the process values back. And then we'll show the two packages uh, running as two masters through this Anybus adapter. So that's setting the scene. Please um, uh, you know, share this with your friends and colleagues. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to hit the like button and I hope to see you back soon.